Good morning everyone, it's Sherry here from Inspired by Fitness and today is day number two of our Perfect Your Form Challenge. So yesterday we did the Romanian deadlifts and we did bicep curls. Today we're going to focus on some lunges and some plank. So each day we'll do a couple different exercises or movements and perfect our form. Okay, so let's get to it. Today, starting, we're going to do the lunge. So what I recommend is we actually start with the lunge down on the ground. All right, so we're gonna start down here. All right, and what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that our knee is right over our ankle and that there's a nice line from the shoulder to the hip down to the knee, all right? I'm gonna pull, uh, flex my toe, okay? Um, and then from here, I'm going to push straight up and straight down, all right? The lunge is a fantastic exercise because not only does it work um, just one muscle group, it works a whole bunch of muscle groups. It works the quads, we have the glutes, the hamstrings. We also have your core um, and stabilizer muscles as well, as well as mobility and stability throughout the movement, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep our head straight, shoulders back, our core is engaged, so we're pulling our tummy in, and then we're gonna come up, and we're gonna go down, and up, and down. So I'd recommend starting with stationary lunges first, and just body weight, up and down, up and down. Okay, so a lot of people say that lunges really hurt their knees, all right, and there's a lot of reasons for that. What I would suggest is start with the stationary lunge and help build up stability muscles around the patella, around the kneecap, all right, and just build those muscles up. And then over time, all right, you can slowly progress into different lunge movements that are a little bit more advanced, like walking forward lunges, walking reverse lunges, side lunges, all that stuff. But I would start here with the stationary lunge to begin. All right? All right. Next is the plank. So the plank, we're actually going to get you to start down on the ground, on your stomach. You're going to put your hands right under your shoulders, and you're going to tight keep your toes and you're going to flex your toes you can almost see my toes there so instead of under you're going to flex your toes all right hands under shoulders i'm going to keep my legs just a little bit closer than uh, hip width all right and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to push up we're going to start with the straight arms and what i want to focus on is a straight line from my wrist up the arm to the shoulder all right, um, practicing in a mirror really helps. We want to make sure that we're not moving too far forward over our hands this way or having your hands out far like here. All right, so right under you. You want to think about keeping a nice straight line from the shoulders down to the hip, down to the feet. All right, um, and your head, you don't want to be lifting your chin or tucking your chin. All right, you can hurt your neck. So we're just going to keep everything in a nice straight line. All right just like this. And then the next thing is the spine. We wanna be careful that we're not lifting our bum up too high, or a very common one is that we start to sag as we get tired, okay? So you wanna be a nice straight line. And then what we wanna focus on is pulling the belly button into our spine. All right, so we're gonna pull the tummy in, and we're gonna keep pulling it in. It's gonna help support not only the core, but all the way around. So the core including your lower back, all right? It's gonna help stabilize that spine. And that will definitely help with the sag as well. All right, everything is nice and supported. And then we're breathing, okay? When we do the plank, very common, we hold our breath. So I want you to keep breathing, not shallow. Deep breaths. It's actually quite challenging to breathe while we engage our core at the same time. All right, the plank is a fantastic exercise. It engages a lot of muscles. So even though it's primarily for the core, we have the shoulders, we have the back, we have the glutes, we have the legs. Um, so it's a full body workout. And what I suggest is starting with even 20 seconds and then building up 25, 30 seconds and going up from there. Once we've mastered the plank, then we can add progressions. So going down onto the forearms, a little bit harder, okay? Then you can add toe taps or arm taps or a lot of different variations, making it more challenging. But always start with the basics, all right? Get really strong in the basic position, and then you can move it from there. The plank is a great basic position for the push-up, all right? So to master a push-up, you really want to make sure that you have a strong plank so that you can do the push-up with nice, uh, proper form, 
All right. Okay. So I think that's it for today. Thank you for joining me. Lunge, plank, we've mastered those, okay? And uh, yeah, that completes day number two. So tomorrow, day number three, and we'll talk about some other different exercises and movements. Sound good? All right, guys, thanks for joining me. Have a great day, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.